when you push back okay when you go back what happens your x starts reducing no i'm going like this so minus dx by dt is equal to v so what happens phi is still blx okay but e is equal to blv plus why because here that that mi minus gx by dt is plus v so it is blv so so from here to here it is this this is my e how about my how about my joule heating how about my joule heating it is b square l square v square by r it is dissipation so has to remain positive maybe maybe i can draw force out here right how about the force distance distance this is force how about the force if i have taken this as the positive value of the vectors hence v so this is negative so a negative force acts while i am trying to move out so this is the negative force its value is how much b square l square v by r b square l square v by r and here Here, when you are trying to pull it in, the force reverses, tries to pull you out. Hmm? And obviously, this this value is b square l square v by r. Everything here is a constant. Try to think. b is a constant l is a constant v is a constant r is a constant had you been finding out force with respect to l or or kind of you know say v or whatever hmm? only when only when power power versus x suppose there would have been a an x square term then it would have become parabolic right Huh? It is always the same, no? X equal to b pe the value is minus b square l square v by r. कहाँ? कहाँ? अरे ये straight line नहीं. This is to show that these coincide. These are x equal to b. The solid one is the graph. The dotted ones, for example, this dotted does not show that the force is that. I am trying to show. That this is minus b square l square v upon r. This is plus b square l square v by r. The dotted lines are not the part of graphs. That's a convention. Okay, never ever. So you understand how the force varies. So I have done e. I have done done the force. I have to do the joule heating. now heating does not know in what direction you are going right so it's b square l square v square upon r square so obviously it will be maybe say something like this hmm and this point being b square l square v square by r correct this is your power dissipation this is your power dissipation understand how about i i would have been say whatever if you if you take clockwise as negative then it would be negative and then it will change 
This is? Why not? Why not will I be negative? No, negative in that sense that it changes its direction. So if you take one as positive, you start designating the other as negative. When you are solving circuits by Ohm's law, what happens? You take the direction of current something as positive. It starts giving you I is equal to minus 5 by 12. It means whatever you had taken was wrongly done and you have to reverse the direction. Fine. So, so we understand. Hmm? Do we get that? How and why the graph is plotted like that? Now it's an interesting case study and, and it, it actually makes you understand the whole concept a little bit more. Okay, how, how to interpret, what to do, the, the confusions that maybe this was parabolic, then, then it will be cleared that no it will not be. Okay, so many things, many things get cleared in one question. Okay, so so this would have been a parabolic thing that 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 is that 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 is a normal confusion, you know. The, it would have been a parabolic thing, had had it been depending on x, and it would have been x square kind of thing, right? Then it would have become a parabolic thing. It is not there. So though there are many square terms, right? I square r. This is this is a power dissipation, p. Though there are square terms, but they are of a quantity which is a constant. So B is a constant, L is a constant, V is a constant. Now had this been changing, had this V been changing, then things would have become quite different, right? So, so and it's not that. So B square, L square, V square, R square, everything is in square, but everything is a constant. So it is kind of, for me it is kind of, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square upon 5 square kind of thing, okay. So that will give me always a constant value, fine. We understand? This is a question that is normally asked in the board for its sheer complexity and, and, and the checking of the fundamentals. 